Welcome back. Looking ahead to tomorrow, all eyes will be on the Savannah City Council. Leaders will vote on this year's millage rate, but it doesn't come without some backlash within the council. WSAB News 3's Jessica Coombs is live in Savannah with more on that debate. Jessica, good morning to you. Good morning, Ben. Savannah Mayor Van Johnson says the city has two options. Either opt for a rollback rate that would lower property taxes or maintain the same millage rate, which by state law is considered an increase. If the rollback rate is adopted, the city's property tax revenue would be down $600,000. That's with the city already facing a $13.2 million shortcoming due to COVID-19. Mayor Johnson says some of the things they're considering in order to adopt the rollback rate and make up for the deficit is cutting $200,000 set aside for legal fees and cutting $100,000 set aside for homeless initiatives, specifically the city's transitional housing project on Dundee Street. It's the responsibility of the mayor and aldermen to make sure that the city has the things that they need to operate. And so on one end, people say cut, but on the other end, they say don't affect any of my services. The council will hold two virtual sessions on Thursday with the first meeting starting at 10 a.m. Following their work session, council will convene again at 2 p.m. for another meeting where they will choose the city's millage rate. Council encourages people to weigh in. You can email your comments to clerk of council at savannahga.gov or you can call the city at 912-651-6441. You can also come here to City Hall in person tomorrow to talk in either of their virtual meetings, but you will be required to wear a mask and have a temperature check. For more information, you can head over to our website at WSAV.com slash millage rate. Live in Savannah, Jessica Coombs, WSAV News 3, on your side.